Sir Keir Starmer is banking on Rishi Sunak announcing a swathe of tax hikes in order to condemn the government's economic recovery plan, but at the cost of loyalty to his leadership in the Labour Party, Sir Keir's gamble that the Chancellor will announce a string of tax rises in his budget today is backfiring, as alienated Corbynites use his position to undermine his leadership, Express.co.uk was told. It comes as Mr. Sunak looks set to hike corporation tax, which has caused controversy both in Labour and the Conservative Party. He is widely tipped to announce further measures to help sustain the level of support given to Britons throughout the pandemic. Sir Keir and Shadow Chancellor Annalise Dodds have outright rejected Mr. Sunak's plans for an immediate hike on corporation tax. This has stirred backlash against the Labour leader in a party that has historically backed tax increases to help society's neediest. What have been described as the hyper-Corbinites have especially taken aim at Sir Keir, according to Stephen Fielding, professor of political history at the University of Nottingham. He told Express.co.uk that while the Labour leader might be justified in his stance on the tax rises, he has nonetheless caused frustration by betting on what the Chancellor will do. The Labour leader has as a result found himself in turbulence, Professor Fielding said. Starmer's speech a few weeks ago was exactly aimed at this budget, he said we're at a fork in the road. He's assuming the Conservatives will start to row back on all of this spending, and he's betting that as we move further away from the impact of COVID to how we're going to run the new economy in front of us, that the Tories will begin a new austerity. But in terms of his opposition to immediate corporation tax hikes, yes, there's a lot of frustration in the Labour Party. A lot of it has been stoked up by alienated Corbynese, and they're looking for reasons to attack Starmer. And of course, his position in the polls is stalling and perhaps declining because people are looking forward to the end of COVID, the vaccination. People are feeling more optimistic. That has undoubtedly benefited Boris Johnson to Starmer's detriment. Starmer's had a good time as opposition leader so far, but he's reached a point of turbulence. While the Labour leader has insisted that the government shouldn't squeeze corporations any more than they have been, he said Labour was committed to supporting gradual tax increases on some of the country's biggest money makers. Members of his top team were, however, blindsided when he suggested his position on the proposal late last month. The group of most vocal opponents can be found in some of former leader Jeremy Corbyn's top-ranking cabinet, John McDonnell, Ian Lavery, John Trickett, Richard Bergen and Laura Pidcock, to name a few. Mr. Bergen especially has pitted himself as one of Sir Keir's biggest critics. On hearing the news, he took to Twitter to demand a tax on those that have made super profits out of this crisis. Many note that the problem with this is that a comprehensive corporation tax will not only target those companies that have made handsome profits during the pandemic, but also those that have suffered. This has led many to suggest a windfall tax be introduced. Speaking at a recent rally organized by the Labour Assembly against austerity, with MPs and trade union general secretaries, Mr. Bergen said, we can't just sidestep big debates when they happen.